Hello, can you hear me all right? Yep, how are you? Brilliant. I think I can't see you. Could you turn your camera on? Without uh, saying it's now off. Um... No, you should be able to see me. Okay. I've just, the camera's on, so I'm not quite sure why. Okay, it's just me. Maybe the chat can see us. But... I don't know. I can't see myself either, which is fine, obviously, but... Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, well, I'll just give a quick introduction before, before Claire rejoins our chat. Um, so I recently joined- There we go, that's better, we're there. <laughs> An introduction about my- I thought I'd restart it. Um, Sorry everyone, I'm not very technologically advanced. UK Upper Spont here, and I'm here to talk with Claire, who's been thoroughly involved in activists over the years. Um, so Claire, can Tell us a little bit about yourself and how you've been involved with that. Sure. Hi, it's lovely to see everyone. Hi, Margot. <laughs> Firstly, what a great day it's been. I've been watching quite a lot of the live feeds and they've been fantastic. So I hope everyone else has enjoyed it as much as I have. Um, so my name's Claire Butler. I am a uh, lawyer who has been involved in Amicus for about 15 years now, which is uh, showing my age. Um, so I first started back in 2006 when I think I heard a... Uh, a speaker who'd been on death row and exonerated speak, speaking at a university. Um, I then got involved and went along to the training and then in 2007 I did an internship for five months in New Orleans um, at the Capital Post Conviction Project of Louisiana. Um, it's a fantastic office, very small. Um, I, was I was the only intern there at, the, at that point um, and I was working on two specific uh, cases amid individuals on death row, one who'd been there for eight years and the other who'd been there for nearly 30 at that point. Um, so the work that I was doing involved, um, actually at that point we were able to go and visit clients on death row, and um, I know that's not now the case, but I was able to go and visit the clients, speak to them, obviously visiting death row was quite an experience in itself. Um, and then I worked very closely with the mitigation expert in the office and I was doing a lot of work um, in relation to all the depositions and the file work um, and summarising everything so that the lawyers could then take that forward and put forward some mitigation on the case. So that was 2007. Obviously working in New Orleans in itself was an incredible experience. Um, I got to meet lots of like-minded people, which I really enjoyed. And I came back and I did my training contract. Um, in London at a city firm, um, qualified into employment law, did that for a year, then decided I wanted to do a bit more death penalty work. Mm -hmm. So I went back out to New Orleans and did another five month internship, um, that point at Louisiana Capital Assistance Center when I was doing, um, it was a mixture of uh, project work. So at that point we were working, there was a lot of us working on a huge project, which was looking at the peremptory strike data, um, so basically, and I think that people spoke about that earlier today, um, particularly Mark George, when he was talking about um, the uh, how uh, disproportionate um, black jurors were and being taken off the jury. So there was a huge project going on with that really important, um, important thing that there were about 20 of us working on. And then I was also doing the welfare of individuals as well who were incarcerated. So... Um, helping their families to plan visits to them, um, arranging for things like magazines, that kind of thing. Um, came back to the UK. I've not been back out to work again in New Orleans, but throughout uh, this period, I've helped out with the training sessions that Amicus does, so the spring ones and the autumn ones. Um, just helped out in terms of going along and doing the role play groups that people do. I think um, you trained me. <laughs> oh, God, please don't comment on how that was. So. <laughs> um, and then more recently, um, I have also been a trainer and spoken at uh, these uh, training sessions as well. Um, so for the last five years, up until April this year, I was working at the Foreign Office hmm. um, and leading the Consular Legal Service. So I 
was basically advising on issues relating to all British nationals overseas. Um, so including people, British nationals on death row um, and doing public international law with a focus on international human rights. Um, so that led itself quite well to some of the training that we did um, and I joined one of the training sessions to speak about the Vienna Convention on Consular Relations, um, which is the uh, piece of international law which governs um, the way states deal with other states nationals when they're in their jurisdiction. So that's basically me in terms of my work with Amicus and um, I've also sat on panels and interviewed uh, people who want to go and be interns in the States which is what I did back in 2007 and 2010 which has been a great way to meet some more people um, and then in April this year I joined law firm Simmons and Simmons as their pro bono manager um, so uh, I, I now run their global practice um, and we're really excited because we've just started collaborating with Amicus. Um, Amicus and Hannah Gorman, who I think was on earlier, who's a really good friend of mine, um, are going to be coming to speak to us next Tuesday and we're going to get a lot of lawyers helping out with some of this casework and projects. So we're really, really excited to actually be able to work with Amicus, um, do a lot of casework and a, a death penalty project in Florida and take that forward. Wow, yeah, we really appreciate your model. You make the internship sound so enticing. Do you think that they will shape your career and like where you have what you do? Definitely. So it was it was brilliant. Just the whole experience is brilliant. I think mostly because you know that it doesn't matter what you're doing. So you can be working on, you know, the most you can be photocopying for five hours. It doesn't actually matter because fundamentally you're doing something you believe in. And if you tend to go out um, to do this, it's because you believe in a fair trial. And to get a fair trial, uh, lawyers need to have access to the evidence. Um, you need to be able to have time to look at it properly, etc. So regardless of what you do on an internship, it's a really, really important thing to be involved in. Um, and I think it's important to remember that because especially at the moment with the internships being in the UK, it's a little bit harder obviously to get that hands-on experience, but what you're doing is fundamentally important and the lawyers couldn't do the work that they do without you being there. Um, in terms of my career, it's absolutely um, impacted on what I've done throughout. Um, obviously, it's only now that I'm able to be the pro bono manager at a firm. Um, however, um, it was really important for me, particularly while I was at the Foreign Office, to understand the US justice system. Um, and also just to raise awareness of the issues to do with uh, race and religion and culture and the differences between uh, the UK and the US. Um, I think actually being immersed in that and doing my internships was really, really important just to give me an understanding of how things work. Yeah, that's great. Are you still in touch with any of the offices in Hand Up? Yes, I am. So I've got friends from both of them. Um, mm -hmm. I actually go back regularly, obviously not at the moment, but regularly to New Orleans. Um, I... Um, I'm in contact with the lady who was the mitigation expert um, at Louisiana, Louisiana Capital Assistance Centre. Um, and for many years, I kept in touch with them to find out what was going on with some of the cases as well. Um, I also um, wrote to one of the guys whose case I'd worked on for a number of years as well. Um, so yes, it's definitely a great way to build contacts, uh, meet people, and keep those relationships going if that's something that you're interested in doing. Yeah, that sounds great. And speaking of which, we're currently um, recruiting the next round of US placements. So if anyone's um, interested in our chat, um, we have that in the area. Yeah, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't recommend it more. I mean, it's just, it's a wonderful thing to be involved in. <laughs> Can you see my comment? I can't. I've had to take my glasses off. <laughs> so, question: What has been your favourite thing when, um, within all your of working? About what's been your one that you've been that you've yeah, done? Yeah. So, I think that there's quite a common. I mean, first, a couple of things really. Fundamentally, you feel like you're doing some good work, right? This is such an important. You know, a fair trial is a fundamental human right, and without it. You, it, there's just there's no justice so it's exceptionally important so everything you feel you're doing is great but actually from a more personal level it's the relationships that you build um, and the people that you meet so the speakers who are at the training sessions are just exceptional they are 
they're such wonderful people. So you've got people like Ray Crone, Sonny Jacobs, Peter Pringle, all of whom have been on Death Row and Exonerated. And they are just incredible. They give such a sense of calm with the world. And considering uh, they've been to hell and back, and yet they've come out of it and they're doing good with their lives. And it's just, it's wonderful to see. Um, and I don't know if anyone um, has had the opportunity to go to some of Sunny's yoga and meditation virtual classes, but they are just, they're so serene. You come out with this great sense of peace. And I think from hearing uh, from people who have been on death row, that's actually one of the main things that's got them through it. It's, it's having that inner, that inner peace and that inner strength. Um, and I would say, you know, I've built friendships. So for example, with Margot, I've known for many years now and Hannah. And actually when you come together at the training sessions or when you have social events after the training sessions, it's just lovely to be able to meet with people who are like-minded. Um, and, you know, whether you're doing it as a full-time job or whether you're doing it on the side, it's just such an incredible thing to be a part of. I couldn't recommend it enough. Yeah, wow. You really sell off, sell the work out. Well, I hope so. Um, Amicus is such a great organisation. They work so hard, so they deserve all the help that they can get. Yeah. Thank you so much, Claire, for coming to see You're welcome. It's been lovely to see you. Yeah, thank you so much. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.